uh, this is the second day picking up my car yesterday it has the uh, the leaky oil pan so when you do a oil engine swap there's a lot of things can go wrong for example we found this one of the boats the thread is ruined so uh we're gonna put some the new boats in there also we found the uh, oil plug the uh, drain plug actually going sideways instead of going straight because the Gen 4 engine has some defect in the uh, oil pan. I think the previous owner uh, doesn't care of it, so it, it crossed thread the, uh, the oil uh, plan, uh, drain plug. So they fixed it and wait for overnight for it to dry up. So the ceiling is now dry up. I can go pick up my car right now. I'm actually in the Uber right now, and the Uber driver, uh, Nicholas, turned out to be a Dr. Precep user. Yeah. What a small word. Love it. <laughs> The app. Good stuff. Alright, back to the video. Okay, so what we got here is the intake manifold. Uh, even though I have the oil catch can, so like two years ago, they're still catching oil inside the intake manifold, and all the oil got sucked into the engine and burned. And you know, engine oil is hard to burn, so you will smell in your garage. Uh, and this is the famous EGR return pipe for the Gen 3 and up. Uh, basically, it give you a little bit of MPG increase with the EGR set up, EGR valve. And as you can see here, it's completely clogged inside, so there's nothing can return. And that's one of the factors that the engine running hot and all that, it's getting better, worse MPG over time. It's because it clogs, so it doesn't matter if you have an EGR valve or not. If you have high mileage, the chance is that it's already clogged. You are not getting any benefit of the product. So, Better just stick with the uh, Gen 2, very Gen 2 without this EGR and without all the hustle. That's a coolant sensor, okay? Yeah. That's it. So you already have that one, so I don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll just find this little mark that I put, put it like up top so I can see it. Okay. Put all the accessory back into this engine. That's what Tony's doing right now. Yeah, basically just putting everything back together. All right. Ha <laughs> ha
water pump vent, yeah. engine vent. Is it like me? Like, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm just thinking of the way. Oh. You already connect all the, uh, the boats from the top and bottom? For the transmission and the motor? Yeah. yeah. Um, this one and this one, these three. I gotta get the back one. Got it. And, and that three way. alone is enough to It'll hold the plate. Yeah, oh, because it has a guide, okay. Yeah, I feel like. It has the guide, okay. So this is the fourth gen engine, not a generation four engine. Yeah, generation four. So oh, it's like a the generation four. 2016 to like 2021. Oh, wow. Okay. So we call you gen four or four gen. Four gen, yeah. gen four, yeah. Wow. I really yeah. don't know you can actually yeah. mix it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I already put it on Twitter and people are so eager to see the video. Yeah. They don't even know, a lot of people don't even know you can mix a Gen 4 engine in the Gen 3, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like if you're like an Uber driver or something, yeah. this is like the, the one, like a really good upgrade, you know, because you just like, for high mileage vehicles, you know, if you plan on keeping the car for a long time, mm -hmm. this is the way to go for Gen 4. Okay. Yeah, for sure. But how do they fix the issue? All the issue is the uh, EGR valve and the, uh, oh, like the, all the ring. <laughs> This, I can't show you because I don't have one like disassembled, but there is a difference like between the fourth gen block inside uh -huh. the block. Uh -huh. It has like, um, I told you earlier over there, it yeah. has like, like a shield, like where the coolant passes through. Okay. It has like an extra layer of like, kind of looks like something, I guess to like, <laughs> sink. yeah, for the heat, to get rid of that heat. Okay. And I think that's what really helps out so ah. it doesn't cause yeah. a head gasket issue no more. Yeah, because when my gen three, this gen three fell, I was driving really fast at that time. I was in a hurry. My wife called me saying I'm late. And that's the moment that the engine overheat. Very first thing in the morning, I noticed the uh, engine sputter at the start. Bum, 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 bum. And yeah, it's been getting worse since then. So just one chance. You got one chance to overheat the engine and that's it. Your engine's gone. <laughs> yeah, so air compressor on. Just, yeah. This is basically reverse order. Yeah, probably. Okay. The only difference is the uh, EGR, this coolant here. It's, it's a little bit different. The other, one one, the other difference will be like the grounds too. The grounds, this one will go right here on the side. Oh, okay. And then the ones that go right here, uh -huh. they're going to go right here. I see. Yeah. Just be good place. Yeah, it's really the same concept. This is amazing. AC compressor, same location, water pump, same location, yeah. same model. It fits, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing. It's like, what did they change, right? You yeah. start to ask, what did they change? Well, they make it more ugly. <laughs> I think so, too, honestly. Before it's ugly, man. I think this is ugly, personally. I like the... the, the oh, okay. No, I mean the car itself. <laughs> oh, yeah, the 4-gen, I do think it's ugly as well. Yeah, the back. Especially the Prime, dude. The price, I think, okay. I think, I think the prime is ugly. That, that it, with the window on the back, that whole like butterfly oh, thing. They tried to make some curve. I, out. I don't feel that. I don't like it. So guys, this is a Gen 2 body with a Gen 4 engine and the leasing upgrade. So we putting the best in the world into this car. Yeah. Yeah. And the rear and tire on this car is Ken block. It's rally tire. <laughs> so yeah, no complaint anymore. This is a best setup. For this. Okay, and for this engine, you guys actually clean it, right? So I can see there's no oil, no deposit. Oh yeah, like this, like we, the head, we send it out oh, you send to it a head out. shop, okay. and they, they do what they have to do to get I it see. good. I see. And we just like reassemble it. So I was wrong earlier. I, I say that this is from a red car. It's probably from a red car, but oh, they, it is. they yeah. process already. They clean out every single thing on this engine. So it's not new, man. Definitely, if I want to keep the car, which I, I'm intending to keep the car, yeah. Yeah, especially if the car looks nice, the way it does, you know, nice paint yeah. job, interior. Yeah. Where is it? Yep. All right. How about ECU? Can you change the ECU to a Gen 4 ECU? We haven't tried that. <laughs> yeah. I want to say no. Yeah. Maybe, maybe uh, if our computer, a lot of things are going on. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Okay, so right now it's the water hose. Yep. EGR coolers. EGR coolers. Okay. The, the main water, the big one is already in. The water pump, yeah, that yeah, one's already okay. in there. You need to use a pry bar to put it back in? No. Okay, so back in is easy. Yeah, it goes right in easy. Okay. 
got it. So installation is easier than check it out. So this one? Especially when everything's clean. Right here, I like to bend this one like this. Uh huh. Because. Wow. For the new engine? So you can just like sit flush. Ah. If not, it's gonna be like kind of. See, that's for the, uh, the differences. Yeah, it's like little differences on the Ford gen. Like over here, it'll go like a little 10 right there. Got it. So I have to go get a 10 because it, it's not original. I see. And then what else? This whole harness on already. Here, this changes a little bit. We get a racer bike. Yeah, so even the uh, spark part of coil is different. So, this is the Gen 4 plug. You can reuse the, the one from Gen 3, but in this case, we just swap it out to Gen 4 as well. Just to get it better. Yeah. There's nothing that goes there. I don't even know why that's there. To oh, be okay. Well. Oh, you know what it is? Damage. Yeah. I think it's a it's an engine cover that goes over it. Oh, I see. But um, they don't give us that when we buy it. Oh, there's an engine cover. Yeah, I never put on prize though, because uh, you know, one better heat dissipation. Exactly. You wanted to breathe. Yeah. Don't breathe. That's on a plastic cover. <laughs> yeah, so then this one's gonna go like right here. Got it. Like this. On the same spot. Like this. And then just kind of however we can get it. Yeah, right there. So oh, nice. ten. So okay. through, let me get that. Put back in. Nice. Put it back together nicely. Do you know how about the electric motor and the inverter? Is it possible to upgrade this to Gen 4? I haven't heard of that one yet. <laughs> but that's a possibility? Yeah, we're, we're stretching. <laughs> if it was, you, you can start it, man. Yeah, because my battery can support that kind of power. It has enough amperage to push the motor. Yeah, so, so you, you have a more horsepower motor. Yeah, my battery can push it for sure. Yeah. But probably need a new inverter, new NGR. Maybe even the wires gotta change like thickness, no, the gauge maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe. Yes. Maybe not. Who knows though? Yeah. You don't know until you try, right? Yeah. Somebody cool. might be try already, we'll find out. So now we're ready to put the intake on. Okay, intake manifold. We got a nice cleaned up intake. Ooh. You see look, it's all clean in there. Pressure pressure wash, yeah. Pressure washed. It took me a couple days just to clean up baby. I know I did mine at home too. Uh huh. And it, I did like maybe three, four cans of yes, cleaning. at least nasty. Yeah. Gas get back in there. Okay. Gas get still good. Yeah. Okay. If you want to put a new one, you put a new one, but you mean they hardly ever go out. Yeah. I think maybe that one's probably cheaper than this one, you know? Yeah, I know. This is Toyota. This Toyota, man. <laughs> that one's just a gas yeah, 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 I forgot that one. Oh, this is that little catch thing. Let me see how it is. But uh, I have the oil catch can say that. That's why Tony is spending extra time to make sure it connect. Uh, the uh, throttle body to the oil catch can and the return back to uh, somewhere I forgot that's what he's doing right now otherwise he it's pretty much just bow down but because the oil catch can is a little bit out of work some, some more work it's like a big box of yeah you better mark everything like using the uh, painter's tape to, to tape everything you put a number on it especially on the boat itself so that you know the uh, exact sequence. Tony is trained, he's professional. He can have his uh, eye blindfold and still working on this thing. Yeah, he doesn't even need a lot of lighting to work on this thing. <laughs> and this is probably the uh, third hour way into this project. Usually, um, I'm pretty sure you need a, a whole weekend working on this, but Tony, on the other hand, probably need four hours in total to swap the engine out. That's the difference. Yeah, he, he did this for a living. Uh, so you said there's a bad cell in there, and uh, the one that replaces 
kind of give them a little pressure. So I did some research before doing the uh, engine swap. Uh, basically, you can find a fully rebuilt engine on eBay for like eleven hundred to twelve hundred dollars. So if you are a DIYer, you, this is potentially something that you can do over the weekend. Uh, alternative, of course, like I said earlier, you can replace just the but heck, asking is just to like a year or two years to so drive it very carefully. Because the overheating problem is still there. In this solution, we basically fix it for long term. I, I, I'm gonna keep driving this test car for another 10 to 20 years. And I'm pretty sure this Gen 4 engine will hold up. I wouldn't be surprised if you get a 100k out of this mm -hmm. easily. Good. I need that. Yeah. Okay. Their gas price is crazy. Crazy high. Yeah. No, I can't, can't imagine me going back to yeah. a regular car, man. Even in California, I'm, we are complaining about high gas gas price right now it's uh, almost five dollars per gallon in England in the uh, United Kingdom it's already at the uh, probably nine or ten dollars per gallon I'm gonna hop on the bicycle I know that's <laughs> why they, uh, a lot of people they don't drive cars anyway. yeah, like, you you <laughs> yeah. so right here this is another thing that changes oh, the fortune because okay. originally this one goes like this right and this one's right here Go so straight. what I do I'm gonna just kind of line it up right there Got it. just give it a cut cut it no going Oof. back, no boy. Oh, I, I regret. I regret. <laughs> no way. That's a super cool it. <laughs> there. Back in there. Just want to make sure it goes all the way in there. No vacuum leaks. Nice. Even at the angle in there, it looks just like stock. Like it belongs there, right? Bond factory, yeah. Good. Like this is like that. Get it all covered up. Or maybe this would be better. Yeah. Alright, that's there. Yeah. I mean, besides a few things, it looks like it's just, you know, yeah. pretty original. Pretty cool yeah. The only other thing is like this right here and this. These right. two also like and one bolt on that they kinda get cancelled out. Right. Uh, even if different, they're, they're very minor. Yeah. Look at how shining it is, the oil pan. Mm -hmm. This car is still new. Yeah. Right now we're pulling the oil drain plug back in and there's, uh, I think, Model of five bolts over here to, to secure the motor to the uh, transmission. I noticed they had a double. Yeah. They put, they put two of the um, two of these. That's why I took it uh, off to like see what the hell. Why you don't have to have two, just one. Yeah. But this shit looks sideways, man. Yeah. Hey, yo, V. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to replace this oil pan. It's just like cross threaded. Cut, oh. cut, cut. So when you do an uh, O-engine swap, there's a lot of things can go wrong. For example, we found this one of both. The thread is ruined. So uh, we're gonna put some of the new bolts in there. Also, we found the uh, oil plug, uh, drain plug, actually going sideways instead of going straight. So probably from the uh, the last owner probably hit something or the mechanic is not careful enough during the oil change. So 
we got to change the oil pan out and then let it sit for 24 hours to uh, let the uh, sealant to, to secure, to harden uh, in order to have a proper seal. Uh, so we're going to do our best today, film it, and then come back tomorrow to pick out the car. Yeah, so we are doing it right. We are not fixing the thread, but we are, repair, uh, we are replacing the entire uh, oil pan cover that actually include the holes for the uh, oil uh, drain plug. Yeah, fixing is easy, you just have to wait for it to dry up. I guess we have to come back tomorrow. Hopefully she so yeah. Okay. You wanna be careful. <laughs> the name of the game. Yeah. is one of the uh, <laughs> yeah, major issue for Gen 2. Not major issue, very oh, often to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I replaced two water no, pumps. No, <laughs> Oh, you remember? Oh, yeah, it's a 
same chain, airbox, everything, throttle body, the uh, EGR, all in. The rest is easy, just the uh, windshield wiper, blocking the fuel center. So yeah, uh, I usually like to leave it like this. Mm -hmm. So well, tomorrow when I start it, if it does for whatever reason oh, have any you issues, still work on it. I have full access. Nice. So yeah, I'll leave it like this for a day. Okay. And tomorrow once we put the coolant, start it right up. Good. Cool. Awesome. awesome man, thank you, Tony. So hey Tony, yeah. How did you uh, test the new uh, new engine in the car? How did I test it? Yeah. How did you test the, the uh, temperature is okay and all that? So I put the, the car on maintenance mode. Uh huh. I let it run for about an hour. Let it reach an out. hour. Wow. Okay. I let it reach out uh, temperatures of like over uh, hundred, like two hundred and three degrees. Two hundred three. So two hundred four is when the fan kicks on. So the cooling fans kicked on. Everything seems good. And uh, now it's pretty much just kind of ready for a test drive. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so that's not the test right yet. It's just no. Uh, it's just like uh, right here sitting. Oh, cool. Yeah, made okay. smooth. So engine is like running the whole time. Uh huh. So it reaches maximum temperature. Cool. So you should be good. Nice. Yeah. So that put the windshield wiper back in and then go for a test drive. Yep. Cool. All right, engine running. The Gen Four engine, the Gen Three. It sounds much better though. I. Yeah, it's just quieter and smoother. Uh, that might be uh, because the old engine was so uh, <laughs> messed up. First star. Alright, so done. Well done. Everything back in the car. Thank you so much, Tony. No problem, man. Thank you. Another 200k right there. 200k? You sure? Sure. Right. Okay, I will come back if anything goes wrong, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, go try this Gen 4 engine in the Gen 3. All right, I've been driving the car with the Gen 4 engine for uh, about an hour. That's about covering about 50 miles. Uh, first impression, definitely smoother it is smooth right probably because the old engine is so old so it's clunky and it has the blonde head gasket but this one is so smooth uh, and it's quieter for sure uh, and i want to see i'm wondering if there's any mpg gain i think you will because it's a more efficient engine than the old one so uh, i'm pretty sure recording back with you my uh, new uh, MPG finding on the uh, Gen 4 engine. Uh, yeah, and probably more horsepower. I don't know. Maybe do some 0 to 60 test. I recall the uh, the old engine was doing like 10 seconds or 11 seconds. This one, uh, I don't know. Maybe faster, like half second faster. Who knows? I will find out. Right. Okay, guys, this is the uh, third day driving the uh, Gen 3 with Gen 4 engine. I I can tell you guys, I'm. <laughs> pretty impressed so far uh, the pickup speed is better it's smooth uh, it's hard to tell but let me do a 0 to 60 see if you can see any different okay let's go just has more pickup speed that I can I can feel it <laughs> and it's quiet definitely the Gen 4 engine has some improvement in there that Toyota has done good job on that so I'm super happy with this uh, 
modified Gen 3 right now. I'm in love. Okay, folks, I have been running this Gen 4 swap for two weeks now. Uh, and I can tell you, this is amazing. Uh, but I do have some issue at the very beginning. I got the uh, P0420 error code came out from the uh, at the first and second day, right? And it turns out it's the uh, O2 sensor reading wrong. Uh, what happened was some kind of brake cleaner actually got into the system, into the dump pipe, into the O2 sensor, and messed up the reading. I think that's what happened. So I used Doctor Pre's app to reset the error code twice uh, at the beginning, and now been a couple of days I don't see any error code so I think it's just a temporary fluke other than that this engine is running smooth and running very quiet pretty sure that Toyota had done some small improvement on it um, for example the oil consumption or oil level sensor right and also like Tony said the extra heat sink to the uh, head gasket to eliminate the warping issue for good so only time will tell I did look into a lot of data into Toyota website, official website, to f try to compare Gen 3 and Gen 4 engine, and this is what I found. On the left side, you have the Gen 3, the uh, XW30, Gen 4 is XW50. Um, the comparison of the engine, the um, horsepower wise, exactly the same, 98 horsepower, and the torque wise, uh, 142 at 4000 rpm for the gen 3 but for gen 4 it's at 3600 rpm tailpipe emission 178 170 for gen 4 so that's a little bit improvement as well displacement exactly the same so i look at the uh, the, the model number of the both engine and it turns out even the model number they are exactly the same from toyota uh, however see the last one the mpg Gen 3 has rated at 51 and Gen 4 rated at 54. So what does this tell us? I think, I think what happened is the engine, the modification to the engine is very small, okay? But the key is the, the ECU. With the ECU, it actually runs the uh, electric power more or favor the electric power. As if you own a Gen 4, you will note that the, uh, the Gen 4 actually doesn't start the engine at the beginning of the, uh, the morning, right? Gen 2 and Gen 3 always start the engine to warm it up, but Gen 4 doesn't do the same thing. That alone will save you some fuel. So, with that being said, I think the next project will be reprogram the ECU on this car to match it with the Gen 4. Uh, and I should see a big bump in the MPG. Uh, especially with the lithium power already in this car. That will be a very uh, substantial increase in MPG, I'm sure. So stay tuned for that. Uh, special thanks to uh, Tony at Habri911. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I pay for everything, not even discount, but it well worth it. Uh, Tony spent his time to uh, explain his process and share his uh, tips and tricks. So I hope that really helped you out. Um, and of course, if you are watching this video, don't forget to subscribe because more video is coming out next. Stay tuned. And action. Hey guys, thank you guys for watching. What's that? Hey, you the Ta-da.